Hi, my name is Lauren. I'm Tommy Cole's mom, and I'm here to read you a book for Halloween. Uh, thank you to Mrs. Minardi for inviting me today, and I hope you like the book. It's called The Skeleton in the Closet by Alice Shirtle and illustrated by Curtis Jobling. This book is a little suspenseful, and that means that we could feel a little worried at times, but I promise that everything turns out okay in the end. So let's listen. The Skeleton in the Closet. Late one night, I was sound asleep, snoring like a motorcycle, cuddled down deep in my crocodile comforter, snug as a clam, when I thought I heard a knocking. Bam, bam, bam. Someone at the door, I sat up straight. Who would come a-knocking on my door so late? In my spaceman jams, I crept downstairs and tiptoed to the window in my bedroom slipper bears. I moved the curtain and peeked through the crack. Two empty eye holes stared right back. White bones, bright bones, night bones glowing, bare bones, scare bones, teeth all showing. In a big, wide, petrified skeleton grin, a deep down voice said, let me in. I ran like a rabbit. I took the stairs, three at a time in my bedroom slipper bears. Into the bedroom, slammed the door. I stood there shaking in the middle of the floor. Suddenly, a noise made my knees grow weak. Someone on the staircase. Creak, creak, creak. Bones on the first step, what do they want? Second step, third step, bones on a haunt. Fourth, fifth, sixth step, white bones walking. Seventh step, eighth step, night bones talking. Uh-oh. It looks like someone's coming upstairs. Ninth step, tenth step, bones coming upstairs. I jumped right out of my bedroom slipper bears and dived inside my nice safe bed with my nice safe pillow on top of my head. But I heard every word that the bone man said. Uh-oh, he looks worried. I got a big hollow head bone, ribs in a row, got hip bones, thigh bones, knees bones below. Got two shiny shin bones and little bone toes. But I'm wearing no skin, so everything shows. Coming up to find some skeleton clothes. Fourteen, fifteen, very last stare. He was looking for something his bones could wear? What did he mean by skeleton clothes? Waterproof skin and a nose that blows? Bones out shopping. Goodbye skin. The door burst open and Bones walked in. That's Bones. I think he's looking for clothes to wear. Let's see. He walked straight into the closet and helped himself to whatever he found on the underwear shelf. Spaceman underpants, polka dot plaid, tanks, and t-shirts. Whatever I had. Hmm. 
trying on jackets, tying on ties, buttoning buttons, and zipping up flies, rattling hangers, banging around, trying and tossing whatever he found. He's kind of cute. But when he came out, I'd have to say, he was looking good in a skeleton way. He boogied across the bedroom floor, gave me a thumb bones up, and was out the door. He was gone at last. I don't know where, but wherever he is, his bones aren't bare. So, if a skeleton calls on you tonight and he's wearing clothes, they're mine, all right. But you might not hear him when he climbs your stairs. He'll be quiet, quiet, quiet in my bedroom slipper bears. The end. Thank you guys for listening to the book, and I hope you have a lovely Halloween. Stay safe and have fun. Bye.